What is up guys? Dave back again for another trucking vlog and we are in Memphis, Tennessee right now headed to our terminal. <sighs> really nobody said anything for the longest time. <laughs> Always happens man. The moment I start a vlog it's like something happens. GPS, radio, it's always something. Keep left. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm doing. I've done this before. Ooh, this is some bumpy stuff right here. All right. Make sure that Challenger isn't going to come over here. All right. Uh, yeah, we got to go fuel up at our West Memphis terminal and then we are going to deliver right down the road in West Memphis to a family dollar distribution center. So uh, I'll put a picture up on screen right now if y'all look. That is where we're going to deliver, big distribution center, shouldn't be anything too crazy. Um, they got my delivery time at 8 and it is 623 right now so we got time to get to this terminal, fuel up, and then head straight to the deli delivery and then we should be just about right on time. So yeah. Woo! Look at that cop over there just chilling, just waiting. Look at him. Just hiding in the bushes over there. Y'all see him? I see him. That was Memphis police. That wasn't a state trooper. Hop over one more. We got the turn cam on if y'all check it out back there. Looking pretty good. Uh, what's going on over here? Got a bike broke down it looks like. Either they're just chilling or one of their bikes is broke down. I don't know. Too many times that has happened to me with my buddies riding bikes. Is somebody's bike breaks down and, you know, you're not just going to leave them sitting there on the side of the road by themselves. So then you end up sitting on the road for like an hour or two until they can get somebody to come tow their bike and throw it on a trailer and everything else. It just kind of ruins the whole ride. It's, like, it's not their fault, you know what I mean, at all. But, you know, stuff happens. But, uh... It would never fail when you had a big group ride. Somebody ended up breaking down and you ended up sitting on the side of the road for hours. <laughs> Always sucked, man. The turn cam will actually look pretty cool on the loop that we go around because it's a really sharp loop um, that goes up, especially if there's like other trucks on there with us or something. That would be pretty cool. I used to take this exact route when I was younger and I would uh, I'd go visit my dad in St. Louis, Missouri because that's where my dad's side of the family lives. So half my family lives in St. Louis. And whenever I'd go up there to visit my dad, I would all, coming up from Mississippi, you'd always take this exact route and go up the loop and all that stuff. Well, we're all pretty much going to be in this left lane except for that FedEx. I thought I might have been able to show y'all a turn cam shot of another truck taking the turn on the inside of me. I thought it would be pretty cool. But yeah, you got to slow down here because uh, it's definitely, dang, they're just hitting the brakes hard. It's definitely one of those turns that you can't take fast in a truck. All right, turn cam. Do a little turn cam action here for y'all on this turn. Make sure I take it wide. I'm hugging the yellow line so then uh, my trailer stays out of that right lane. And then you got a turn up here by the bridge that's a little bit sketchy. It's kind of... Uh, kind of a little tight little turn by this bridge first couple times I did it a big truck I was like worried my trailer was gonna hit the bridge man <laughs> y'all see what I'm talking about in just a second yeah right here because you take this right hand curve here and then there's like the bridge right there you'll see what I'm talking about see and then there's the bridge I mean you're gonna be clear of it but I probably showed y'all the turn cam. It's always a bit sketchy on that part for me. <laughs> oh, not much anymore, but when I first took it the first few times. Man, look at the water with the sunset out there. It's nice. All we need is a train going on the train bridge right there while uh, I had the turn cam on. That would have been a cool shot. If these beams didn't block it or something. old Memphis bridge man when I was a kid I used to love this bridge it like fascinated me because I had never seen a bridge like this before 
and my dad would come pick me up after school or after school after school was out for summer my dad would drive down and pick me up and take me back to st louis and uh we took this route to st louis and that bridge always fascinated me i thought it was cool because we didn't have any bridges like that down on the mississippi coast that i would ever see so all right now we're almost there we got three miles we'll take the exit down into the memphis area where our terminal is at we'll be almost there and then we'll be going to deliver it family doll hair all right boys we are down in it now down in west memphis Ooh, you better slow down car he ain't yeah i was about to say that truck wasn't stopping you got that extended sleeper cab on there man that's what I'm gonna buy, man. If I go owner up, I'm gonna get me one of them sleepers. Like a little freaking, you gotta, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, Holmes. Go ahead, bub. I flashed you like eight times. Are you gonna go or no? I don't know what he's doing. He just forgot to turn his blinker off. I guess. I don't know, unless he was trying to take the turn extra wide. Yeah, he wasn't taking a left. He just forgot his blinker on, man. <laughs> I was like, I'm hitting my lights, flashing them a bunch of times, letting them get over, but it's all good. What time is it? 6.42. We got an hour and 18 minutes. We're good. So the funny thing is, every time that I've been to this terminal, they always open the gate for you when you pull up. But last time I came here, I sat there for like two or three minutes and a dude point, like uh, another driver that was walking around pointed and was like, swipe your card to get in. I was like, I got out and I was like, dang man, usually they open it for us, you know what I mean? But uh, they sure didn't open it. So I might have to swipe my card again. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Card again. No trespass and entrance only. Oh hell, I'm just gonna go swipe it. Oh, nope, they did it. <laughs> See, they've always done that, but that day, I guess there wasn't a dispatcher in there or something, or they were busy and didn't notice, I don't know. All right, boys. Let's go swing this around to the fuel, fill her up, and get loaded at family doll hair another one of the CFI veteran trucks love those got a CFI backing up here look at all these red CFI trucks man like I said they switching the whole fleet to red oh it's Transport America right there Transport America is becoming CFI they're merging them so Straighten her out, CFI. Straighten her out. Do a little pull up. Get her straight. Oh, he's scooting backwards, son. He's scooting. I guess he's good. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he just popped his brakes. He didn't wave back. <laughs> I don't think he saw me. He was looking somewhere else. This is actually a one way here. You're supposed, I could have taken a left back there and squeezed into the fuel line, but uh, we're not supposed to. You're supposed to kind of keep it one way around this thing, but I mean, I don't think anybody would mess with you if you did sneak through there, but I'm gonna do the right thing. All right, which lane is this CFI gonna take? I kind of want this middle one because it's the only one that has uh, def, so. I don't know what he's planning on doing. I guess he's going to the first one. I guess. I ain't trying to cut you off, Holmes, but uh, <laughs> uh he's, he might be backing. No, I don't know what he's doing. He might be backing. He might be waiting for me to move so he can back up here, I guess. I don't know. See, that's the def pump right there. That's the only one that we got, so. There we go. Now we're good. 
All right, guys, let me fill her up, and I'll be right back with y'all when we're headed to Family Dollar. Change my batteries and my GoPros and stuff. All right, guys, we are all fueled up, full tank, and, uh, yeah. Turn cam, test, test, test. It's working good. Yep, yep. My CFI's been real. <laughs> oh, I got a freaking dog pecker gnat in here. Get on out. Oh, hell. Get out. Get out. Fly out, dude. <laughs> Trying to get him out. Fasten seatbelt. Someone is waiting for you. How sweet. Fly out, bro. Just go over the window, idiot. I don't need you buzzing around in here the whole time. Come on, CFI. I got a delivery to make. How are they going to open that gate? Look, they're going to open that gate over there. <laughs> Push the wrong button, I guess. Ain't nobody coming in. Sometimes you got to give them a little toot toot of the horn. Um, come on, CFI. Shoot. There we go. All right, we are 11 minutes away, boys. Show the turn cam here on this little turn. It's a little tight turn too when you take this. I mean, I take it extra wide. I don't want to take no chances, but uh, it's a little tight one. Continue one half mile to there we the go. end of the street, then turn Now, I've never been to this Family Dollar, so this could be my first time coming here, but it's pretty uh, obvious on the northwest side of the building where the entrance is, so it shouldn't be anything too difficult. Um, yeah, so we will find out when we get there, man, how it goes. Oh, that train has stopped. Or the train thing. I don't know what it's, that is, but... Huh. All right, turn cam. Turn right on I-40 West. Cleared that pretty nicely. Now we're going to take another right-hand turn on the I-40. There we go. All right, boys, heading into the sun now. Let's go. Right, we got to take this right right where this FedEx is coming out right here and then this Mid-America Boulevard will take us to the Family Dollar Boulevard which will then uh, be the road that it's on. Right on Mid-America Boulevard. Yep. All right, we got a little turn cam action here. See what this car is doing. Is he going left? Yeah, he's going left. Okay. Turn cam. Easy turn cam. Alright, half a mile, take a ride on Family Dollar Parkway. And we are there. Easy. Easy. Then we gotta do some backing, man. Y'all excited for some backing? I'm excited for some backing, not really. <laughs> I have to back into a door to get live unloaded. Who knows how long this is gonna take? I hope they're fast. Yep. And then it's going to be on the right because we're coming up on the left side of the building and we're going to take a right on Family Dollar. It's going to be literally the entrance. It's probably that guard shack right there. That's going to be it right there to get into there. Yep. And there's all the Family Dollar. Uh... Oh, wait. It's fit. No, I went to Dollar Tree. My bad. This is I, I got it all wrong. <laughs> Family Dollar Parkway. I've never been to a Family Dollar. I've been to the Dollar Tree distribution center. I got them mixed up. Because I was expecting to see green here, but then I was like, oh wait, Family Dollar, not Dollar Tree. Do not block Family Dollar entrance. Deliveries enter here. Trucks in trucks inside lane only. Okay. Inside lane, so yeah. Make sure we clear that. Turn cam. She looks good. We got it. All right, boys, 10 miles an hour speed limit. I'm going to check in, and I'll be back with you. Well, boys, that took a little while because the uh, security guard was not too happy with me. Um, nothing I did, particularly, but she's like, you should have been here at 8 o'clock this morning. 
I was like, well, there's no way I could have been here at 8 o'clock this morning. My dispatch was 8 p.m. It was 1958 exactly. Anyways, uh, she said, um, she said, well, you were supposed to be here at 8 this morning, and I can't get in touch with anybody to figure out. They don't live unload after, at this time or whatever. And I'm like, where's he going? Why is he coming toward me? She told me to park in the middle. Okay, he was taking she said park in the middle i don't know where the hell but i'm gonna take up one of these little spots right here she said park in the middle and go uh yeah that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna park right here in one of these spots and she said go between door 21 and 22. anyways supposedly this load was supposed to be delivered at um 8 a.m but the place i was at last night it was like six hours later that I was loaded than when I was supposed to. And my clock got run out there. So CFI dispatched me for 8 p.m. because there's no way I could have gotten here any sooner. Um, just because of the place that I picked up at was so late. So, but she's like, I don't know what to do. She was like, they, you can't drop it. I'm like, okay. She said, well, go check in between doors 21 and 22 and, uh, you know, see what they tell you to do. So she didn't really know man i don't i don't know what else to do i mean like i said it's not my fault there's no possible way i could have been here because i was six hours at the place that loaded me it was a nightmare boys it was bad if y'all follow me on snapchat you saw how bad that place was if if they would have had me loaded in a couple hours i would have been here last night and been able to deliver it at 8 a.m but because that place took so long i was screwed out of my time because i was there for so long so anyways it is what it is i can't help it i'm not late but anyways, all right, I'll be back with y'all. I'm gonna go find this. I can't even read the numbers from here, man. I think that says 31. Oh, it should be right there, I think. Anyways, I'll be back, guys. Oh, they use lumpers here, boys. <laughs> say a I don't wanna say a command. I said lumpers, boys. <laughs> Stupid GPS. Anyways, guys, so, oh, I need my key, wait. Hello? Yeah, will do. Thank you. Okay, so they just called me and said, once you get backed in, can you call us to get your lumper fee? So, or can you come in to get your lumper fee? They gave me an, an actual check, like an EFS check. Like the other one did it electronically. Remember when I was at the other lumper place, they sent like a text message, but yeah. So we got to back into door 17, boys. Oh, this lock's been having problems, man. It, it's not been doing too well. They told me to go ahead and break the seal and everything so go ahead and do that damn lumper fees man damn lumper fees because <laughs> i gotta pay it and then cfi reimburses me which is fine but it's just it's like just extra BS because <laughs> now I got to back in disconnect go in there get the amount fill out this check here with the information call my dispatch get them to give me a certain code it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of it's a bunch of crap is exactly what it is you know what I mean it's like god dang it <laughs> I do all this crap but yeah that's trucking dave get used to it lumper fees dave all right now let's let's concentrate first on getting backed in yeah they were just as confused in there they called the security guard up front and the lady go the lady that was in that office here called the security guard and said what is this <laughs> and the security guards like it's a live unload and she's like, really? And the security guard's like, yeah, I tried to call you because the security guard tried to call her. Okay, do I have enough room to get by this ball tail here? Because I'm going this way because I need to back. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this freaking look. I gotta do all this wideness here. 
like that Schneider, it looks like. Alright, I don't want to have the turn cam on because I took it off obviously when I went inside and it's dark anyway, so it is what it is. I'm trying to get around Schneider here. So yeah, they were definitely not expecting me this late. So I guess, I don't know. They still took me and everything. So I guess maybe CFI, so I don't know. I don't know how it all works. All I know is the security guard was acting like I was late. I was like, no, I, I was dispatched at, at 8 p.m. I was actually here like an hour early. I was here an hour early, basically. So yeah, well, it is what it is. I just hate that guy doing this lumper crap. Let's see, 17 is gonna be right next to this trailer right here, it appears. Let's see, let's make sure. Yep, right there. All right, let's turn up. See if we can get this boys nope scoot up just a little bit i gotta scoot up a little bit more i was a little bit too close to the uh the thing all right here we go i don't want to get too close to that trailer on the far side i can't see the lines that's going to be the problem I gotta get out and look. I can't I can't see any lines to know how close I am to this trailer over here. I'm pretty sure I'm far, guys, but I can't see the lines. When you can't see the lines, I, I don't know how close I could be to this trailer. Okay, we're good. We're actually kind of perfect here. We wanna push it toward that trailer a little bit more before we start getting under it. <clears throat> well, we need to start getting under it now, basically. I just... I wasn't sure and if I'm not sure I'm gonna get out and look because uh, but now I know that I can get like this to where I can see now that I pushed it back I need to jack it hard 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 there we go now we need to get back under it and yeah we got to pull up now we got to pull up and uh, to the right to get this thing straightened out this was a weird, this is a weird one for me. There we go. Now we're pretty, sh God, I gotta get this thing to the right even more, man. God bless. I can't see any of the freaking lines or anything, so I'm just like guesstimating here. There we go. Now we're lined up with the dock pretty good, but I'm gonna hit that freaking wheel chalk back there. Still not lined up you see what i'm saying i have to push it into the spot a little bit more and then turn it yeah i'm definitely gonna hit this wheel chalk here let me there we go oh, okay i need to just push it i gotta get the trailer This is the one I need to use my freaking glow sticks at, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, I need to move just a hair to the right. Oh. Back to the left. It's been a while since I struggled with a dock like this, man. It's because I can't see any lines or any points of reference, man. I can't. I can't see anything. I have nothing to go by except for just freaking nonsense. All right, one more up and to the right. 
pin back to the left. There we go. Okay, I think I, I think I am perfectly straight now. I think I got it fixed. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to see anything, boys. It is so hard to see anything. I think that's okay. Ah, oh, you freaking automatic. Here we go again with this BS. There we go, we're up against it. Now I'm up against it, let's go ch check. Make sure I look good. I have to disconnect, by the way. Will that dog plate go in? <laughs> Will that plate go in? Will that plate go in or do I gotta fix it? Okay, appreciate it. He said I'm good, so. <laughs> I was worried it wouldn't go in. It's so weird, I just had no point of reference. I can't see the lines, I can't see anything. It's like, it's hard to get the trailer straight. I can't tell if it's straight or not until like I'm backed into it and then I'm like, shit. <laughs> so, uh, sucks, man. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name and now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown